Hello everybody and welcome back to MJ Games. I am Michael and welcome to Wild Winds episode 7. Now I will say ahead of time that I'm having to re-record the intro here because I accidentally deleted it um, because I'm done filming everything now and I don't actually get done with as much as I was initially planning on doing. And I decided just to kind of split building this this area that we're we'll start working on today into two parts. Um, and it kind of extends out the series just a little bit. Um, but the idea for this is now I we're going to have essentially three more coasters in this area. Along with maybe a water ride. And it's going to be more around a western themed, maybe more of a rustic area, a forest area, that kind of thing. Um, and so what we're going to work on today is we're going to build a suspended coaster in this area and this is going to look obviously a lot different this was um kind of tough to work with as i've never built a suspended coaster but it's pretty fun to work to to build once i kind of got the hang of it the hard part is doing the terrain because i've never built a train coaster before and i'm really happy with how it ultimately turns out so let's go ahead and get started with the first update all right welcome to the first update and there's still a lot and a lot of building that needs to go on. But I have made the Aero Suspended Coaster. And I'm definitely going to mess with the train a lot. So I'm going to need some... Uh, and I still need to smooth this out some. And it's... I watched a fair amount of videos before making this. Trying to kind of get an idea. And then as I was making it, I just kind of winged it. So... <laughs> um, the layout's not necessarily matching any particular one in general. And a lot of them have kind of a turn as you come out of the lift hill before you go down the first drop. So this is a little bit different, just the first drop. And let's see, uh, let's test it so we can kind of see how it goes through the layout. But yeah, still need some smoothing to be done. And there's a couple moments where it's kind of whips a little bit. But I don't know if any of y'all have watched a POV or been on one of these things recently. Um some of the turns these things make it just really really swings the car pretty violently at first um so that's not necessarily out of the question or unrealistic you know i gotta smooth that area out it's so what i'm gonna try to plan on doing is try to kind of match the terrain to the the car and kind of make it almost like a forest area that's kind of traveling through um so that's going to be kind of my thought and idea with that but we'll kind of see how that goes at first and as it kind of slowly gets over that hill into the second lift hill and most of these have a second lift hill except for the bat at king's island and it goes as it kind of ends this route i wanted to kind of have a little bit where it comes up near the path um, as you see that uh, with the bat at king's island and so i think that's kind of a cool cool look for guests down here um, just to kind of watch the watch the coaster here at the end and a lot of this is going to be the trains can be kind of adjusted and stuff. So you're not really going to be able to see a ton. Like I'll probably put a mountain on this side. It's going to kind of block some of the lift hill with trees and stuff. Um, so you're not going to have this vision of seeing all the way out there. So it's going to be, most of it's going to be blocked. And that's kind of what I want to have. This will be a perfect chance to have this real um, kind of backstage area kind of flushed out now. And I'll have just, uh, oh, I might need to make this a little wider. Oh, that could be enough because this could be like a gate for stuff to get this way. Um, and I don't know if this is going to be how I lay out these buildings. I was just kind of roughly laying something down. But this is definitely going to be more of a western alpine type of area. And then I created this custom fencing, which I really, really like. And so, oh, no, no. Let's see if I can, if I adjust the terrain. Oh, yes. Okay, perfect. Sometimes you get these pieces sticking out, and I, because I've got path there, I don't know if, um, you just don't know if the terrain is too much or anything like that. Um, because I said, really like how this is looking so far. So these custom fences, it's just the thick, uh, what's it called? The, the haunted, haunted house pillar. And then you've got one turned sideways. you got three of those um, going across. So it does take up a fair amount of pieces. But I kind of wanted to have something unique where it's kind of like you're looking over the edge. And it's, um, it's going to be kind of foresty down here. Just a lot of bushes and stuff. And then I am going to have a transfer track here. 
that there will be a entry point somewhere in this spot, probably right here. And I might actually remove this and make my own custom transfer track because um, I want to kind of have it resemble the ones in real life. So yeah, so that's kind of the update right now. Like I said, uh, with these buildings, I don't exactly know, and I don't fully know at this point all I'm going to get done this episode. It'll probably just be this spot. Um, so maybe a couple buildings here, and then we'll see kind of what's going to go over here. But yeah, I'll see you guys at the next update. So here at the next update, I am not complete with everything yet, especially the buildings. I'm still kind of stuck on what I want to do with the buildings around the area. But as we can see, right over the top of this, you can see the, the coaster going up the hill and trying to create a valley and stuff. And so I've gotten a lot of this done. Not everything, because I haven't done the station yet. But as we come through this way, you know, you've seen this from before. Um, because I thought I just wanted to kind of have some... Uh, or now that I'm thinking about it, honestly, I can't remember off the top of my head right now if I had these buildings placed last time. I think I did. And I don't know if that's the way it's going to end up. Um, but as we come this way now, you have the view of this coaster going up the hill. Ooh, what did she say? <laughs> kind of reminds me of The Sims, just <laughs> like the fake language that they speak. Um, Yes, yeah, so we come this way, and you know, you, you see the coaster along here in the edge. Oh, perfect timing. Probably still a little bit that I need to do with smoothing out the coaster. I think we'll take our ride on the coaster to end this section. Um, but I haven't really done anything else with the building area, so I put this fly right here. I feel like this is a good one for the area. I'm going to basically just put trees and stuff behind it and kind of make it become like the wooded area, kind of mountainous as we can kind of see here and really short queue I'm good with shorter queues right now saving percentage and piece count and then we've got the queue here which I don't know if I'm gonna have a wine this much I might end up changing that a little bit but we basically go down this way and I'm gonna add a little path covering for when the coaster is right above it but that's a pretty cool view um, and then we got the exit path there as well and we don't have a station built yet, but this is where it'll be. And then I might build a connecting path system there. We'll see. Um, let's go back out. But yeah, I'm happy with how this has turned out so far, and I'll show you the overhead view in a second. As I haven't really done too much with terrain work in the past, and it's kind of tough to learn how to get it right and... It's far from perfect, but I'm happy with how it has turned out. And so this is just going to be like a bigger kind of backstage area. Probably build a couple basic warehouse buildings back here. Put some more trees kind of in this area to kind of block some of the coaster sites off from it. But then I've built this little drive kind of for the trucks and stuff. And this little warehouse, you know, still got put windows and doors and stuff. Um, and I'll probably put a little kind of electric unit back here and stuff. But... Then I've got the, haven't done the transfer track area completely yet, but this is what it's going to be. That's just the wooden 4x4 four four panels. And I doubled it up so I can kind of put lights in them if need be, and they're not so so thin. But yeah, happy with how this is turning out. And so as you can kind of see some different views of the coaster, you can see the the last hill there in the background. And I haven't put trees and stuff around it, so I'm going to try to figure out kind of how I want that final part to look um, because I do love the view when if we get back over here I do love the view of when you are walking up this way you see that going up the hill and then you see the little hill there in the background so you can kind of get a view of how far in the distance the coaster goes and then now if we Yeah, so here's kind of the overall layout of it right now, as we saw before. But now as we start to see some trees, it might kind of change up this area. Because I wanted to kind of have almost like a little creek or stream um, kind of going around part of it. Um, so I still got, obviously, some a lot more um, little forestry stuff to kind of put in here. And I did check. The coaster does just clear that. Even the little bar on the bottom just clears it. Or maybe it doesn't, so I might have to work on that. <laughs> um but I like this kind of ending part, how it comes right around where the guests would be looking here. 
and just kind of added a lot of trees, continue adding it. So basically what I've done, and I am, I'm trying to get better and learning at this because this is, this is tough to me to be able to do kind of terrain work, but I've kind of used the flattened foundation. Um, I probably should turn the intensity down some, but basically what I've been doing is just kind of taking this and kind of lightly getting it like that. And so that would kind of get the, and then I kind of smooth it out. When you smooth it out, sometimes it can, it, it kind of gets rid of those kind of layers of it. Um, and so just trying to make it look a little bit, a little bit natural because at this point there's some areas where it doesn't look as natural. And so then if you kind of go back over and smooth it out, it takes away kind of all those little unnatural looks and stuff. Um, and so as you can see over here, it's still got, still got a lot of stuff to do over here, but overall this is kind of the layout and look of it. And I've started putting some, doing the terrain paint, adding trees, adding extra bushes and stuff and some rocks. And I'm probably only really going to add rocks and bushes like that around area where the coaster goes just to kind of save on piece count as well. So if you're looking above, there might be some areas that don't look as fleshed out, but I mean, all that matters is when you're actually on the coaster. Um, so yeah, let's, once this coaster kind of gets back to the end, and here's the edge of the path. And as we're waiting for the coaster to get back to the station, I think in the next episode, we're either gonna do an RMC in this area, or, possibly do a water ride in here because I have yet to do one of those and so that could be a lot of fun to kind of mess around with a little bit um, but yeah and so you know still got kind of all this area I'm hoping to be done with all of this at about 80 percent um, that's kind of the goal and the hope hope for this so let's go ahead and get this back to the station because my thought is if I can be at 80% and then about 90% or so for the next one, I can get that up to 100% and with about 30% left to spare for um, the last kind of coaster and any of the other things that I kind of maybe want to add. See, so yeah, as we kind of go on this coaster, it's a nice look as you're going up the lift hill. So I said before, it's my first time really trying to do something like this. So as I do train coasters more and more, I'll end up kind of perfecting it and getting better at it. Oh yeah, I gotta move that tree right there. <laughs> Still has some smoothing to do, but these things are, it's my first time making one of these as well. I might add a little break right here to have it kind of slow down into the lift hill. And another thing, on the second section, it's a little bit more intense, and it kind of whips you a couple times, but I actually kind of like that, because if you've watched POVs of some of these in real life, especially when those are moved from Bush Gardens, um, probably about a decade ago, I mean, it's, they can they can whip you pretty good. So that is the coaster, and I will see you guys at the next update. All right, so we are here at the reveal, and I'll be honest, I did not get as much done because I am at a little bit of a building block right now in terms of building the the buildings and the style of this area, as I'm a little, a little preoccupied, too, with March Madness and the college basketball going on, so I haven't been researching as much stuff and spend as much time getting into that so i just feel like i'm in kind of a little building block right now so i decided that um i'm gonna go ahead and you know kind of um split this into two episodes kind of building this area just because it has been a while since i've had an actual 
episode for uh, for this this part coming out. Um, but as you can see, as we get to the top of the lift hill there, as the coaster is going down the chain, I decided to change the colors as Jasmine kind of helped me with this because we already have a red coaster um, on the other area of the park. And, you know, as you can see, not done building this building yet. I don't know if I'm going to keep this. Um, I've got a couple bathrooms in here. Um, but, you know, i got to put doors in here and stuff. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this. And one thing I did, and I, I'm going to kind of decorate this area more to where it's not as just flat. But to save on pieces, I used the projector screens and just turned them gray. Which I think actually works pretty well. Like, it doesn't work as well as the the firehouse roof pieces and stuff. And I might go back to that if I have enough, like, piece count near the end. Uh, but this was just to, because, I mean, honestly, it saves me, like, no joke, like, 300 pieces. Um, so we'll see. But, yeah, like I said before, I got this custom fencing. I love how the coaster comes back here around this area at the end, as this is awesome. And there's the station that I've kind of been working on. Um, you know, happy with how it turned out. was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with that for a while. And if we go back to the transfer track real quick, because I don't think I've done that much since we last saw this. Um, so I just kind of gated off this area. As this is going to be kind of, um, you know, maintenance area. As you can see, the Fury style coaster. Still love how that turned out right there. But I put kind of fencing around. And we'll kind of do an overview in a second. But this will be kind of where I have some warehouses and stuff. we got a little gate here. You know, typical stuff. I carried that door over from earlier in the park. We had a couple garage doors, a couple doors here. And, oh, I need to change that coaster track to the same color. Um, but, yeah, I just kind of put some supports in here um, to kind of support the coaster. I need to color the coaster train, too totally forgot to do that always forget to do that i seem and i forget to name it which by the way i have not named this yet so if you can think of a name um uh write it in the comments below as i am just terrible with naming coasters but yeah so continuing the fencing around love how that's turned out i really am happy with this area this coaster and last time when we ooh, that's a cool view right there oh that was perfect timing um or was that? Oh, that was in the, that area that I haven't built on yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just put all these trees here right now just to kind of block the line of sight for us um, so we can kind of just get a vision for what this area looks like by itself. And I do love how you can just see it going up the lift hill, but then you really can't see it anywhere else. Like the other color, you can see a little bit of the track back there, but right now you really, you really can't see anything else of the coaster. Um, to, so that kind of provides that kind of excitement and just that unknown. I mean, I'll probably make these into planners, um, but we'll see. But man, this is a this is a. Everybody wants to ride this coaster. This is crazy. Um, like I said, haven't named it yet. Haven't fully fledged out this whole area. Like I said, definitely still working on. Like I said, just kind of in a little bit of a creator's block right now. But I love how this has turned out. I need to add a couple more supports on here, which I will. So we got this covering here as it goes up the lift hill. And then so here's the station. Nothing too crazy. Um, and yeah, as we can see, made the I kind of put that um, wooden pieces around the windows. And now if we can actually... See if I could. There we go. Trying to get the right camera. Um, and just, you know, try to put a little bit more detail into it. And then I've got the metal supports here, which I probably should add some vertical supports as well, um, just to kind of support the track. And I added a little bit of wooden supports around here, which I think do, they definitely, I think that looks nice. Um, and then kind of continuing it until it kind of goes down this way. Yeah, so I've got this entire um, thing done now. I've added in some other little details, a lot of trees. I've added in in some areas just a little bit of this kind of dead bush. Um, you know, add in some rocks in some areas and stuff like that. So it really is more, I just put the rocks and stuff like that in areas that you'll see with the coaster track. Like I didn't put any rocks or anything like that in this spot, right? Um, because you're not going to see it. 
really happy with how this has turned out, and I believe that's it before we actually take a ride on the coaster, because I have smoothed it out more, but one thing I want to show you real quick is I did just put fencing around here, just kind of connecting this area and blocking it off, um, oops, and then I actually changed the color of this coaster over here to black and yellow, and the reason I did that was because this coaster was red, got a red coaster over there, and I was just like, you know, I don't need to have all the same colors of the coasters in the park, so I needed to change that. I still am going to keep this one blue, though, because it kind of fits with the Cedar Fair style of having their all their family or kid wooden coasters being blue. Yeah, so let's go ahead and look at the stats and take a ride on this coaster. And as you can see, this is uh, my fault. Um, <laughs> need to recolor those to match the the new color of the track, which it was that red before. And I really did like that red because it stood out. But the only issue was that I've already got a main coaster that's red. So as we look at the stats, uh, nothing too crazy, obviously. This is a suspended coaster. You're not going to have any crazy stuff. G-forces look good. Glad I kept the laterals under two. It's got a pretty big drop, 120 feet, which is a little bit larger than most of these. One airtime hill, which these don't really have airtime much. It does have a little, a couple little pops, but nothing, nothing too much. Um, but yeah, so there is the statistics, and I'm gonna leave you guys with a POV of this coaster. We're gonna ride in seat view to obviously get the swinging sensation that the coaster has to offer. And thank you so much for all the support and for helping us reach. I know it's been a couple weeks now, but for helping Jasmine and I reach 1K, it, it really means a lot just the constant support that is, is shown and how great this community is. And as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button and have a wonderful rest of your day.